Beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. And there was plenty to behold at this year's annual Miss Universe pageant. Cool blondes from the Scandinavian countries. Exotic, golden-skinned girls from the Orient. Dark, mysterious beauties from the Middle East or Latin countries. Fresh, wholesome beauty spawned on tropical islands. Or the more sophisticated beauty of the European continent. Whatever your ideal of feminine beauty, it could be found right here. The place, Miami Beach playground of the Americas, and the home of glamorous hotels like the Algiers, the Fontainebleau, the Monte Carlo, the Shelburne, and the Shore Club. A colorful parade heralded the opening of the 17th annual Miss Universe pageant, complete with floats, and of course, the usual entourage of clowns. Crowds lined the sidewalk for their first glimpse of the lovely array of contestants competing this year for the title of Miss Universe. And judging from the cheering as the floats passed by, many of the people were already picking their favorites. The girls responded warmly to the crowd's enthusiasm with waves and smiles. But the parade was only a preview of the exciting week that lay ahead of them. opening ceremony was held at Miami's Bayfront Park Band Shell, where before an enthusiastic audience of onlookers, officials of the greater Miami area formally welcomed the girls, who presented their hosts with token gifts from their respective countries. Miami's popular Hall Over Beach was the site of the next important pageant event, Photography Day. With international attention focused on the pageant, Photographers representing newspapers and magazines from all over the world clicked away under the Miami sun to capture the contestants in a variety of intriguing poses. One thing a competing beauty queen can't afford is a sunburn. All of the girls, including Miss USA, put their aloe fashion tan to good use. If the girls seemed particularly radiant that morning, Perhaps it was because their smiles were for their many friends back home, who would shortly be seeing these very pictures in their hometown newspapers. Win or lose, each of the contestants went home with a number of attractive gifts, including her choice of a complete outfit from Beeline Fashions. And a selection from the glamorous hair pieces and other beauty items by La Contessa a division of the Wig Corporation of America. Butler Shoes, the official shoe of this year's pageant, also presented the contestants with shoes keyed to the color of their official swimsuits. Sirens screamed and spotlights seemed to turn the star-filled evening into daytime as the girls arrived in their official fleet of Avis cars at Miami Beach's famous Lincoln Road Mall. This night, they knew they were celebrities. The occasion was a gala motion picture world premiere. And these young beauty queens, personifying the epitome of feminine beauty in their own countries, shared the spotlight of the exciting event with a well-known motion picture queen, a beauty in her own right, a very talented and lovely motion picture actress, Miss Debbie Reynolds. The next afternoon, Miss Reynolds took time out from her busy schedule and visited the Miami Beach Auditorium to watch the girls rehearse for their upcoming pageant telecast. While most of the girls were busy rehearsing, a few of them were given some time off to do a good deed. 
In the spotlight once again, this time adorned in some of the fashion world's newest creations, the girls lent their beauty and grace to boost the success of a luncheon and fashion show, all in the name of charity. But the most important luncheon for the girls was the judges' luncheon. This year's distinguished panel of judges included Edwin Acosta Rubio, prominent Venezuelan advertising executive. Earl Wilson, popular American syndicated columnist. Dong Kingman, internationally acclaimed artist. Edelson Sid Varela, one of Brazil's most distinguished journalists. Yusef Karsh, noted Canadian photographer. Lady Sarah Carter, well-known model and wife of the Guyana ambassador to the United States. Miriam Stevenson Upton, Miss Universe of 1954. Orna Porat, Israeli actress. And Hideo Den, a prominent newsman with Tokyo's Toyota News. At last, the night the girls had been waiting for arrived. The night of the telecast and final judging, when a new Miss Universe for 1968 would be chosen. A capacity crowd packed the Miami Beach Auditorium. In the dressing room, official pageant hairdresser, Mr. Charles Lentini and his staff were busy putting the finishing touches on some hairdos. Mr. Raymond of Aloe Cosmetics and his staff checked makeup to make sure every girl would look her best for the cameras, which would relay the exciting events of the evening to more than 70 million people around the world. Backstage noted television personality Art Linkletter offered some words of encouragement to the eager but nervous contestants waiting for the show to begin. Finally, the overture began, and the stage came alive in a profusion of color as the contestants each bedecked in a costume reflecting the history and heritage of her country, marched down the runway in the traditional parade of nations. If the girls were nervous, they didn't show it. Their smiles beamed across the footlights in the tradition of seasoned performers. This was their night, and win or lose, it would be a night they would never forget. Bob Barker presented the first special award of the evening to Miss Japan, who in spite of an English vocabulary limited to goodbye and see you later, alligator, was selected by the girls to be Miss Amity, the friendliest girl in this year's pageant. The best costume award was presented by Miss Universe Incorporated President Harold Glasser to Miss Columbia. The first elimination of the evening found the field of contenders for the coveted title of Miss Universe reduced from 65 to 15 semifinals as the official swimsuit competition got underway. Watching the semifinalists parade down the runway in their official Catalina swimsuits, it wasn't difficult to understand how they had all managed to capture the top beauty honors in their native countries. But measurements alone do not a beauty queen make. It's more a matter of symmetry, or as one of the judges so aptly put it, it's how those measurements are distributed that really count. Carriage and poise also put points on the plus or minus side in the judging of this very important part of the competition. Linkletter presented the reigning Miss Universe, Sylvia Hitchcock, with the special Beeline Fashion Award in recognition of the fine example of good fashion she set during her year-long reign as Miss Universe for 1967. The judges concentrated on the stage as the evening gown competition began. 
chances are, if anyone had polled the audience in the auditorium during this part of the competition, he would have come up with 15 sure winners, for every one of the semifinalists presented a vision of beauty as she glided down the runway in her formal gown. the highlights of the evening was the announcement of the winner of the most photogenic award. The honor went to Miss Yugoslavia, the only contestant entered from an Iron Curtain country. The audience showed its approval of the press photographer's selection with a rollicking round of applause. Suspense began to mount as the names of the five finalists were announced. Miss Brazil. Miss Curacao. Miss Finland. Miss USA. Miss Venezuela. You could feel the excitement in the air as Miss USA was named the fourth runner-up. Miss Venezuela, the third runner-up. Miss Finland, the second runner-up. the first runner-up. And the new Miss Universe for 1968 is Miss Brazil. Tears of joy and bewilderment stream down the pretty face of the 20-year-old green-eyed beauty from Salvador, Brazil, the raven-haired Martha Vasconcelos, as she was crowned and warmly embraced by the departing queen. Her charm, poise, and fair features, not to mention her measurements of 36, 25, 36, decoratively spread over a well-proportioned 5-foot-8 frame, have earned for this young Brazilian schoolteacher the most coveted beauty title in the world. But for the moment, she was simply overwhelmed by her newly won honor. As she took the traditional royal walk down the runway, the cheers of the crowd still ringing in her ears, she had no time to think about the full meaning of her new title. But along with the crown and scepter, the title of Miss Universe carries with it many responsibilities and rewards. As Miss Universe, Martha Vasconcelos will travel around the world, bringing honor to her native country, Brazil, and promoting the Miss Universe philosophy of universal brotherhood and goodwill among the nations of the world. Aside from the many priceless friendships and memories she will accumulate during her year-long reign, the new Miss Universe received a $10,000 cash prize, a $10,000 personal appearance contract, a complete fashion wardrobe, and many other prizes. One of her favorites, a stunning Mariposa chinchilla jacket, as practical as it is beautiful for a young woman who will be traveling as much and to as many places as Miss Universe will during the coming year. as the lovely new Miss Universe made her debut at her coronation ball. There was a feeling that on this night, the fabled story of Cinderella had come true, complete with its promise of a happy ever after ending.